Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us do the good work for today. Um, you know, always we, uh, and I'm trying to concentrate more on Muslims' claim about what they claim to be prophet. You see, when we say somebody is a prophet, that means he prophesies. And the funny, the Muslims, they cannot find the prophecy of Muhammad in the Quran. As an example, they say that the Prophet predicted the victory of the Roman, and we debunk that one easy, proving that Muhammad was a false prophet. But the issue is, the Muslims, they cannot stop trying to fabricate prophecy, which their prophet, he prophesied. Non-stop. The prophet predict the cell phone. The prophet predict the spaceship. The prophet predict uh, airplanes. Uh, the prophet predict. Uh, I mean, whatever you, you name it, it's endless. But the truth is, the prophet is not a prophet. Anyone. He can claim to be a prophet and let me uh, make myself a prophet for at least for today I uh, prophesy that this coming month there is many as of women they are going to have their period and for sure that will happen I guarantee to you this is how sure I am that's I have knowledge and because none of you knows such a thing so I have to say and you have to admit all of you that must be sent by Allah otherwise how I know that I mean be honest with me how I know it's impossible for a human being to know such a thing nobody knows the future Muhammad the Prophet I'm going to open my Skype I will open my Skype and I will give the chance to the Abduls from around the world, especially from Nigeria, especially if you are an Ustaz from Nigeria. <laughs> Ustaz, Ustaz. <laughs> I love this title. <laughs> Didn't he introduce for you? My name is Ustaz Ajwa uh, Palmetry. What's your name? Ustaz. How in the world do you call himself a stars? I never heard of somebody calling himself a stars. Even prophets, people call them prophet. They don't call themselves prophet. Business is good, and the fool is all over. Now, let us open our Skype so we might get some beautiful Abdul, have a beautiful mind. And intelligence and as you know I noticed that Muslims are really very knowledgeable people <clears throat> there's a guy from Pakistan he want to defend his religion and asking me can I defend my religion I said sure you know call me <clears throat> Free. <laughs> Let me call him. to Allah right now but he sent me the text just now I mean he sent it just uh, three minutes ago how come why he's not answering uh, okay he's saying call again so he is like he's here 
Hello? You do, Scooby Scooby do. Are you there? Please, please mute YouTube so you can. Well, nice to meet you, Chicky Chicky God. Hello? Hello? This is the Quran you have. Chicky Chicky do. Are you there? Chicky Chicky, yes. Chicky okay, Chicky do. Chicky Chicky shame. Tato. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim have the courage to tell us the knowledge of his prophet? Any one, any two, any half, any full. They talk too much about their prophet, but guess what? Their prophet, according to the Quran, was nothing but a scam. Read this verse with me as an example. Woman of Lama Mimman of Tara Allahi Kadiba, O Kala Ohia Ilay, Walam Yohia Ilayhi Shay. What is that? What the heck? What happened here? Who is a Muslim when I tell us what happened? Let us see the interpretation. Who can be more wicked than the one who invents a lie against Allah or says, I have received inspiration when he has received none? <laughs> Unbelievable. Any Muslim knows what this verse is about? Who is a Muslim have the courage and the knowledge? Would like to call us and tell us what this verse is about. <clears throat> Anyone? Any Muslim knows? Guys, invite your friends. Soon you will receive inspiration from Allah too. Hmm? Every day we speak to Muslims. We cannot find one of them he knows what he's talking about and the only way to run away from the truth is to fabricate lies and denial and denial and denial some they say i don't accept the hadith some they say i don't accept the Quran. some they say i don't accept the interpretation well the truth is that you don't accept anything will make your prophet look like an idiot proving to us that he have no knowledge the story in front of us here is about a guy. He was the scribe of Muhammad and he was making Quran for Muhammad. And the verse saying that. Muhammad, he claimed that his God told him to say this, that the one who lie, that he is the one who created Quran is a liar. But this guy was the scribe of Muhammad and he left Islam. Do you see it, Muslims? The Quran saying that, not me. This guy saying, I the one who received the inspiration, not him. And he is the one who was writing the Quran. And you cannot deny that he was working as a scribe for Muhammad. Muhammad he said to, to him something, Muhammad, he said, put it in the Quran. The guy, he says something, Muhammad, he said, put it there. I like it. So the guy noticed right away that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. He says something, Muhammad said to him, okay, put it in the Quran. Any Muslim? Hello?
who is a Muslim want to explain to us how such a thing happened? Any Ustaz? Do we have any Ustaz from Nigeria? Skype is down. No, my Skype is on. <clears throat> no, my Skype is fine. Nothing wrong with my Skype. So who is a Muslim would like to call us, please? Let us see if this guy is online, the Ustaz, what's his name? Ajwa Adagona Ajamu Alaba. Let us see if he is online. Just for fun. No, he's not. Not like he is. He have, he's, he enjoy, he's enjoying his uh, religion. He has four wives, and the Muslims, they pay for their bed. Four beautiful wives in the age of nine. No, no, he's not, his name is not Estaz Jamu, my friend. His name is Estaz Ajwa. Because he is the kind. You chew him, you chew him, you chew him, and he still he will say to, to you, you did not bite me yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why you are learning away from quoting the Bible? My friend, quote the Bible as much as you want. What, what my topic even have to do with the Bible? Why you are running away from quoting the Bible? One of you, he made this uh, graphic. I mean, look how happy he is. I wonder if he take a picture after debating me, how the, how the picture will look like. Is going to be the same? I don't think so. Ustaz, Ustaz, he do not know what the Quran mean. Ustaz, he cannot answer why the sun set in murky water. Ustaz, he said that the word Nasara is coming from Nazareth and he's quoting from the Bible against the Quran. I mean, he is a truly, truly Ustaz and he is Ustaz, but he don't speak Arabic. I mean, what do you want more? And the Christian prince is not Ustaz. He is Ustaz. Let me introduce to you Ustaz Ajamu Ajawa Get Busted Ajwa. Uh, sorry, this is uh, this is not his name. Get destroyed. This is not part of his name. This is uh, I mean, it's it's we we Arab we are illiterate. His name is in the one the part in in the blue. Sorry, it's not in the green in the in the red. So don't don't think his last name is Get Destroyed. No, no, it's not. His name is Ustaz Jamu Adajo uh, Ajona. Uh, Ajwa. Now, who is a who is a Muslim can do better than this Ustaz Ajamu Ajwa uh, Hummus? Any Muslim can do better. Who is a Muslim can do better, please? We are looking for a Muslim. He can do better than this Ustaz. This Ustaz, you know, he is not taking enough uh, vitamin and etc. So I think this is what happened. You know, when you don't eat good. Hmm? If you don't follow the sunnah of the prophet drinking camel urine, you will not be healthy. So I think this is very normal to happen. Okay, somebody saying we made this. Are you a Muslim? Our work help people who okay. Okay, I see. 
look like one of you he made or a group of you made this uh, a group in a Skype our work help people leave Islam every month if you think you can defend your religion join uh, the YouTube uh, live stream the Arabian Prophet Skype debate TV I, I think they are talking about me <laughs> but you know you made me really upset I mean okay you talk about me why you don't put the word stars there I mean it's not even fair the Nigerian they call their guy Ustaz why I okay I want you to put Ustaz Arabian <laughs> I mean come on we like we like titles Ustaz don't don't I deserve to be Ustaz like at least for at, at least in the graphic I mean come on why the poor me like I'm not uh, getting promoted to be Ustaz one day all my life will be a student is it is it time to be Ustaz which mean a teacher or a master all right do we have any Muslim no my friend I am not doctor I noticed that those who claim to be doctors they are certified donkeys too somehow those who earn degrees they think they know because of the degree so they became so proud and then they became so foolish and then they they, they don't talk they do poo poo my knowledge have nothing to do with the uh, with degrees i have degrees in islam i have a bachelor degree in islamic law yes uh, but my knowledge have nothing to do with my degree Anyone? I mean, look at this guy to get my attention to answer his question. He put for me chicken. Look at this question. I mean, this is how you. I mean, this is how Muhammad he get the attention of people to convert to Islam. Let me let me show you. This is this is a very smart question from Speaker Corner, Arabian Prophet. <coughs> Let us zoom in. Surah 7, 114. What does the word al umma means? Is it an uh, what? Uh, illiterate, unlearned, or Gentile? But, you know, for me, before I answer your question, what it get my attention, and this is why I'm answering your question now, is all the food you put for me in the table. I mean... <laughs> No wonder Allah, he promised the Muslims in his heaven all the junk in the world. Even he will import junky women from heaven. I mean, what do you want more? So it looked like you are learning, my friend. <laughs> Here we go. You got my attention. And now you are going to get my uh, answer uh, because, uh, 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 you know, it's, a, it's a, an amazing, uh, let us say, uh, um, you made me hungry, man. Why you do that to me? Okay, guys, I have to go now. Uh, I wasn't expecting this here. Sorry, but you know, okay. And uh, now I have, uh, I, 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 I got to go because, uh, 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 you know, yeah. Uh, first of all, my friend, in chapter seven, verse one forty-seven, al umia, al umia. What is the word al umia there? Are you sure from the verses you are choosing for me? Mm, I'm not sure what you are talking about. So you have to check again your chapter. So you have to put more food next time. Sorry. I mean, that's not really hamburger. I mean, hamburger. The Muslims are accusing me already that I'm giving some Muslims hamburger and this why they leave Islam. Actually, the Muslim, they have a recorder of my voice once I enter a chat room. And they said to me, Christian Prince, we know how you make Muslims leave Islam. And they play for me my voice saying, bring me one Muslim, I'll give you four hamburgers or five hamburgers. So they said, I am converting people into Islam by hamburger. So I took the microphone. I say, I, they supposedly they get me busted. Now they knew the secret. How a Christian Prince, he make Muslims leave Islam. 
I mean, look, look how smart they are. So C C CP, we know what do you do, ZB. We got you busted, CP. We have you recorded. I said, what? What happened? They said, listen, listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. This is how you make people leave Islam. This is how you de deceive people and make them convert out of Islam. This is how. Listen, 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 listen. Brother, brother, invite, invite you for a friend. And, brother, brother. and he played my voice saying, get me one Muslim. I will give you five hamburgers. But I was say, I was joking because no Muslims is coming to debate me. <laughs> so I took the microphone and I said, are you saying to me that you Muslims exchange your Allah and your Prophet Muhammad for the sake of hamburger? You should see what happened in the chat room. They went so crazy. And Nami Allah curse you, you are the devil. If you are stupid, you are you are the one who just said to me that you Muslims you exchange God for the sake of hamburger. What if we make a dumb burger? Is that better? Did you, did you watch the Pink Panther? Dumburger. 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 Oh. Let's see here. Somebody left me a voice message. Merhaba, CP. Kifak. My name is Ashur. Okay, let's see what this uh, is an Iranian. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Merhaba. Yes, my friend, we, yeah. are, we are live on air, just to let you know. What do you like to say to me? Uh, I want to, uh, can we talk about Jibril? Can we talk about Jibril? Jibril? Okay, you, you are a Muslim first, right? Yes, from Iran. Okay, what about Jibril? Tell me. Yes, in this last video, you said Jibril uh, punished Bamet. Punish what? Hello? Yes. You said Jibril punished what? Hello? Yes. CP. I don't understand. Disconnection. You said Jibril punished what? Uh, punished Muhammad. What? He 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 punished. He he what? <laughs> Stupid people. Potatoes. Potato, 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 potato. Obviously, he have a mental issue. This guy. It's okay. We're having fun. So, do we have any Muslim here would like to call us? Any Muslim would like to call us and tell us something smart? Oh, what we see until now, a bunch of dumb people. They have nothing to do, nothing to say, proving to us again and again, Islam is a stupid religion. Anyone? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Who is a Muslim when I tell us why the Quran is saying that somebody said that he is the one who made the Quran? What is behind the story? Any Muslim? If we go to the interpretation, we will find that this is a story about a guy. His name is Ibn Sarah. And he was in a scribe for Muhammad. And Muhammad, he was stealing Quran from him. And here the verse saying clearly that the guy he said, Muhammad, he received no inspiration. It was my words. Then Muhammad, he ordered this person to be killed. For exposing him as a false prophet. Anyone? Hmm? No Muslim until now. 
Right. There's many references in Islamic books speaking about not only this guy, there's many other guys, Muhammad, he was copying from them. As an example, Umar al Khattab, which Muhammad he said that if there is a prophet will be after me, it's going to be Umar. Imagine Muhammad, he confirmed that Ibn al Khattab, if he is a prophet after him, is going to be Umar. How such a thing can happen? Any Muslim? Simply by saying that statement, Muhammad, he admitted that he is taking Quran from Umar and he wanted to silence him so he will not start talking about it. The Messenger of Allah said, if there was to have a prophet after me, it would have been Umar ibn al-Khattab. Why? Who is a Muslim when I tell us why? Any Muslim? First of all, is Umar here prophesied to Muhammad by Allah? Which mean, is it Allah who told Muhammad that if there's a prophet after you is going to be Umar? Or Muhammad making up stories? What made Muhammad come to such a conclusion that Umar is the one who deserved to be prophet after me? Who is a Muslim? Have an answer, please. Do we have any ustaz here? Do we have any ustaz? Because all of you, obviously, is full of knowledge. Anyone? The statement here in front of us confirm very clear thing that Muhammad is a thief and he have a partners and he have to satisfy his partners. Otherwise, why in the world? He will say such a thing. Any Muslim have an answer? If Muhammad, he said he is the last prophet, why he saw in Omar that he is a possible to be a prophet after him? Was he thinking that he will give the job to Omar after him? Did Omar and Muhammad, they sit together and they say, you know what, if you die, I will claim to be a prophet after you? Or because Muhammad was copying from Omar Quran and he put it in the Quran and yet he claimed it is coming from Allah. There's tons of reference 
speaking that Muhammad he took Quran from Omar you believe it actually in the books of Muslim Sunni they said that in the Quran there is the opinion of Omar how that can be the opinion of Omar or the opinion of Omar is in the Quran how such a thing can be inside the Quran any Muslim want to challenge me about that Hmm? The chapter of the hijab is made by Omar. The chapter of praying to the direction of the Kaaba is made by Omar. The chapter about Muhammad fighting with his wives is made by Omar. And some Islamic sources say is at least 10 major things in Islam is made up by Omar as an example we can quote many verses but I'm really disappointed that the Muslims there is no stars is willing to call me Anyone? Did you reach the point where Muslims are not, or they don't dare to even to get close to talk to me? Or what we got scammers who want to sing songs in the mic? Nobody? Who is an Ustaz when I call me? Simple question. Why Omar is possible to be a prophet after Muhammad? What happened? Where Muhammad he got this information from? Is that Allah who told him that? Or he is making things up? Somebody is saying to me, you are a big fitna. Well, I'm so glad I'm big fitna, not small one. Still, you cannot answer me. Big fitna, small fitna, medium-sized fitna. You are dumb. And you have no answer. So you, in, in order to answer, in the, in instead of answering me, you say to me, you are a big fitna. Nice to meet you, fitna boy. What is the answer? Answer me and then tell me about you are big fitna. Do you know what big fitna mean? It's mean you are a big troublemaker for Muslims. For sure. Look at you. This is this is how stupid your religion. You are ashamed of what is written in your book. How in the world, Muhammad, he says such a thing? Is that based on knowledge or based on stupidity? I want an answer. Any Muslim? When Muhammad he said this, is that based on stupidity or Allah told him that? Hmm? Anyone? The only one we have is GGGG. <laughs> Shall we call GGGG?
the prophet Gigi and his companions a bunch of kids the prophet his wife is six years old and he sent me to defend him Gigi Where is Jibreel? Maybe Gigi is Jibreel. Uh, Gigi, Gigi. Uh, you want to talk to Gigi, guys? Hello. Hey Gigi, how Hello? are you? Who's Gigi? Gigi and his uh, brothers. Aren't you uh, the brother of Gigi? Who the fuck is Gigi? Don't use a filthy language. You oh, are sorry, a Muslim. Sorry. Okay. sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Did you say the name of your prophet now? What did you say? It? I did not hear you. What? Who, who, who is Gigi? I don't know. Somebody told me Prophet Gigi is going to call you. I don't know who that is. I, um, okay, what do you say oh. about your prophet saying that Allah Messenger said? That if there is a prophet after me, he is going to be your Amr al-Khattab. Oh, obviously that's a big fat lie, because so you are saying that the one Muhammad never said that. Okay, so you are saying the one who said that is a prophet Gigi. Who is Gigi? I've the never prophet, heard of Gigi. Uh, His name is not Gigi. Okay, I don't know. So you tell me, you are saying this is a big fat lie. What is the proof that this is a big fat lie? Well, it, it's not. It's not written in uh, in the Quran and in the Hadith. So basically, it's a lie. No, it's in the Hadith. I've never seen this in my life. Can you I show have it to it, me? I have it in the screen. Do you see it? Look at the screen. Look, Look at YouTube. You're a kadab. Let us see who's kadab. Kadab mean a liar. No problem. Show me. Here we go. I'm I'm showing to screen the screen. Can you read it for I, us? I can't see anything. Why? Did you open your eyes or not yet today? No, no. It says. It says. Um. If there, if there was a prophet after me, oh yeah, I say no, huh? Now, nah, obviously, that's a metaphor. That's a metaphor. That um, ah, this is a metaphor. Okay, give us the metaphor of this. No, basically, what he's saying here, yeah, um, Umar is um, obviously it's a name here, yeah, but um, it hasn't happened yet. It's gonna happen in the future. It's not. It hasn't happened yet. Oh, so this is a prophecy that Umar is going to be a prophet later. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet, obviously. So, mm. um, so Omar will come from the grave and he will become a prophet. No, but obviously. Hello? It hasn't happened. I know it hasn't happened, but I'm saying to you, why your prophet? He said that. Uh, okay. Prophet Gigi, are you there? No, you need to read the content. Read the contact. What I'm reading, it's in front of you. Read it for us. Here we go. Take your time. Stop. I'm losing you, my friend. Do you have many uh, applications open? Gigi. Yes, Gigi. I know that it's you. So, what do you think, Gigi? Gigi. What do you think? Talk about Gigi. Yeah, yeah, you know. I don't know. All, all of you, anyway, are Gigi. Gigi and, no. and and the nation of Gigi. Uh, I... Your voice is cutting up. Okay, sorry. Oh. I cannot hear anything from you, uh, you know, the brother of Gigi. Peace upon uh, him. No. I hear nothing. To do G Stupid. Potato. Uh, do we have any Muslim he can answer us except Gigi and his cousins? Hello, any potato here or even somewhere? So what we will do now? There's no Muslims. What happened? Why you are scared? According 
to some Muslim scholars Omar he received up to 19 chapters in the Quran or let us say 19 places in the Quran is made by Omar any Muslim here he dare to say I am making things up any Muslim dare to say this is not true Omar he says something Muhammad put it in the Quran and the funny the Muslim they say that Allah said in the Quran who can make Quran like Allah <laughs> when Allah himself is copying the Quran from Omar <laughs> Uh, Omar, uh, Omar, Omar, uh, 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 the God of uh, of Islam. Omar, he says something. Muhammad, he take it, he put it in the Quran, and he say, Allah told me. And this is why Muhammad here he is being a hypocrite. He's trying to shut up Omar because Omar he knew that I'm the one who said that. So Muhammad is trying to make Omar not to talk about it not to get him busted so he said if there is if there was someone to be a prophet after me it would be Omar which mean he is acknowledging that Omar he prophesy and Omar is the one who made the Quran or at least part of it do we have any Muslim Ustaz Umar sorry Ustaz Umar ibn al-Khattab we have to put Ustaz because he is the Quran maker any beautiful Muslim in the bushes huh Chapter 7, 157. Ah, 157. I thought you are saying to me 150, 174. I got you wrong, my friend. Okay. I didn't know. It was, here we go, because you said to me 147, so it's 157. All right, let's see, 157. Yeah. Well, the word in Arabic, it is an Nabiul Ummi. Ummi, it have many meanings. And the, the the only meaning can be is about someone who do not know. And the other meaning that he is or he is from the nations, from the foreigners, from me. This is why in Arabic we say Al Umamul Mutahida. What the Quran says, Wakuntum Khaira Ummatin Ukrijatinas Umma. Um is a word mean mother umma is those who be, belong to that mother so uh, uh, the chinese they belong to the chinese it's an it's a nation uh, uh, the arab supposedly is a nation uh, the the jews are a nation etc so umma is a nation coming from the word um which is a mother and ummi is the one who believe or so they someone who belong to other mothers not to our mother all right however here it can come that he is a person who is ignorant but it's not about illiteracy in reading and writing now we can prove that very easy because the Quran said that the Ummi is someone who do not know the book of God. If you go in the Quran, you will see it's saying, <clears throat> chapter 2, verse number 78, it says, and there among them, Ummiyun, 
this is illiterate here is coming is Ummiyun. you see it this is Ummiyun, which means Ummi who know not the book so what the Quran from the beginning of the Quran is giving us definition what the word Ummi mean Ummi is not someone who do not know how to write how to read but the one who do not know the book of God Did I answer you, my friend? I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. But the Muslims are ignorant. They do not know even how to read their book. The book in front of them saying clearly that the illiterate is the one who do not know the book. What book? The book of God, not the book of uh, uh, Mickey Mouse. So the Quran divide the people to two kinds of people. People of the book, and those are the Christian and the Jews, and the Ummiyin. So anyone who is not from the people of the book is Ummiyin. If you go to chapter 3, verse number 20, it says clearly the following. فَإِنْ حَجُّكَ فَقُلْ أَسْلَمْتُ وَجْهِ لِلَّهِ It says, وَقُلْ لِلَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ وَالْأُمِّيِّينَ أَسْلَمْتُمْ And say to those who have been given the book and the Ummiyin, so who are the Ummiyin, the one who don't have a book? Read carefully. And say to the people of the book and those who are Ummiyin. Do you see it? So why the Christians are not called Ummiyin? Is that about writing or reading? No, because this is about the book. There's no way all the Christians and the Jews at that time, they know how to write, how to read. And I understand we are smart, not like the Abdul. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. As an example, I am Ustaz. Ustaz. If, uh, my name is Ustaz. My name is Ustaz Ajwa. What his name, man? His name is hard for me. I keep forgetting. My name is Ustaz uh, Jamu uh, Adajuna Ajwa. Okay. So the Quran says here if you are from people of the book, you are Ustaz. If you are from the Muslims, you are not Ustaz. You are illiterate. Are you getting the point? Do you see it? So, if you are a Muslim, you are Ajamu at the... Uh, at the I need a week. Give me a week. Uh, no, not Ajamu. What Ajamu? Jam, jam you. Adjustment no, Ajuana wa get destroyed once this is not his last name. Destroyed, no, I keep making mistakes. You know, sorry guys, I'm not good at reading. Uh, his name is uh, his first name is uh, Jamaica. I mean, that's it, I, I'm done. Read Quran is even a lot easier. Let it now, the Quran confirm. That there is two groups, people who they are Ajamu, Jamu, Jawana, Jalulu, and those who they are uh, people of the book. That's it. So, do we have to prove it more? It's very easy. No, we cannot say he is a fake sheikh, my friend. That is not right. He is a real sheikh. What is the qualification to be a real sheikh? Number one. You have to collect money to fool people. Number two, you have to lie a lot. Number three, you have to praise Muhammad more than God. If you do those things, you are a sheikh. Professional sheikh. And look, guys, he is wearing a suit. I mean, all my life, I want to have a suit. One of the things I hate to wear, honest to God, is wearing a suit. I hate it. Especially the tie. I don't know if you guys you like it or not, but for me, if I put a tie on my neck, I feel like I have a leech. <laughs> I cannot take it. I cannot. Don't ever ask me to wear a suit, especially a tie. This is the most funny piece of clothes people they put it in their neck. Why in the world somebody want to put a leech in his neck? I mean, come on. But Ustaz, I mean, he's Ustaz. I understand. If you are Ustaz, you can handle it because you're Ustaz. I did not reach that uh, uh, point yet. Maybe in the future, if I became a stars, I would like to wear a suit and, uh, uh, you know, a tie. 
Elhamdülillah, elhamdülillah. Ne? Ee, we are waiting for anyone to call us and tell us we go back to Omar's story. Did I answer you, my friend, the one who asked me about uh, uh, literate and uh, you know, the, Muhammad before he died, the hadith is very well known. Muhammad he, before he died, he said, "Bring me a paper so I will write for you." A book which you will not get lost after it. So all Muhammad is asking a paper to write, to write for them. That's mean Muhammad was ustaz. All the new interpretation for the Quran as fabricated to make it fit with modern science. If you want to know the real interpretation of the Quran, you go to the old scholars. For centuries, no Muslims opposed them. And there's no way that the more far you are from Islam, the more you can explain the Quran. And the more close you are to the time of Muhammad, you do not know what Muhammad is saying. Right? Are you not Osama Dakdok? Last time I checked my ID, it doesn't say Osama Dakdok. No. Actually, I'm going to go tomorrow to DMV and ask them to change my name. I want to start with my name with Ustaz. And I'm going to put in my license plate for my car, my little donkey. I will put Ustaz uh, 2019. If you pay, by the way, they change it for you. You can call yourself like you can you, you, you make your number Ustaz. And I will take selfie of the car, me driving my car and the the the. the, the 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 name in my plate it says Ustaz, unbelievable, <laughs> Ustaz. Cheng Fu Ha Hu, master. He is the master of kung fu, but each time he open his mouth, he gets spanked. Anyone? If you want to say something to me, say it to me in the chat. Otherwise, I will block you. I'm not here to chat, really. Don't tell me in the Skype. It, people think you are Osama Dakdok. Who cares? I think whoever you want. Who I am is not the business of anyone. What I say and what I teach is what is important. So don't be silly. Do we have any Muslim here? Why Omar is going to be the coming messenger of Allah? Protected by Muhammad. If there was, if there was a messenger, a prophet after me is going to be Omar. Why? Hmm. Anyone? I'm thinking to convert to Christianity, but I am not quite sure. I still believe that Islam Foundation is a quite strong. Can I call you, please, to discuss? I need help. Okay, but I don't know the IP sound like a. Let me check the IP. Is it GGGG? You wanna hear GGGG? <laughs> we are out of Muslims. We have no choice but GGGG. What we can do? Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, my name is America. 
Yeah. This is not Gigi Gigi your name. Your, your first name is not Gigi. No, no, it's Tim. Huh? <laughs> Gigi Gigi. Stupid kid. So, where is the Abdul? Or what we got, the al Kalbi. So he was a prostitute. He called himself Gigi. That's all what is left of Islam. Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I answer us? So as you see, Islam is a big fat lie and Muslims don't dare even to debate or even to say to us something good about their cult. They have big mouth to speak to those who know nothing about Islam. If you are a person who know nothing about Islam, you are not an Arab, you don't speak Arabic and you've never been studying Islam before, they will be so happy to be all over you. But the second they notice that they are no match, they transform into GGGG. -G -G -G. It's a miracle. Hmm? All right, we have someone have a question. Let us see. But try to keep your question in our topic, please, if you have a question. Where is the verse about 90 verses Omar make? Omar? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, hi. Uh, I have a question. It's not the topic, but um, I wanted to ask. I have a Muslim friend, mm -hmm. and every time I discuss with him, he tells me that um, all the violence in the Quran is a defensive war. Mm. You know, that yeah. is defensive war. And I wanted to ask how, uh, what is the best proof to show him that it's not defensive war? Okay. No problem. That's all? That's all. All right. Thank you, my friend. Okay. The Quran, violence is about defense. You see, the Muslims, what they don't tell you, that when the Muslims, they attack you, they are defending Islam. You are waging war against Allah if you refuse Islam. And let us prove our point. If you go to chapter 5 as an example, verse number 51, the Quran forbid the Muslims to take a Christians and Jews as a friends. Okay. So how they are your enemy, but they want to take you as your friend. If we ask them why it says go and kill the Christians and the Jews and force them to pay jizya, they say they are fighting you. The Christian never fought Muhammad. Never, never. Muhammad sent a letter to the king of the Romans saying convert or else. And then Muhammad, he took his army all the way to Tabuk. And then when he could not accomplish the attack, he came back and his hand was empty. When did the Roman ever attack Muhammad? Never. He is the one who sent them letter to threat them. And here you see that the Christian don't mind to, to have Muslims as a friends. So how we are enemies, but I don't mind to have you as a friend. And not only that, a friend or a protector. How we are enemies, but yet I offer you even protection. 
protector actually is more important than just a friend because not every friend will protect you only the ones who really I mean they must be like love you really or let us say you consider you as a family to the point he is willing to go in war for your sake so how they say that we are fighting the Christians because they fight us and we cannot find that in the, even in the history of Islam it's Muhammad who is attacking and why you cannot take me as a friend or protector unless Muhammad is satanic and he is the one spreading hate in the same chapter 5 14 Allah he said he spread hate and enmity so now if we go with the Muslim logic that the Christians they are people of enmity to the to the Muslims which is not true because even the Quran says that the, the most close to the believers are those who call themselves Nasara for from those who the two who call themselves Christians we took a covenant we take a covenant but they forgot a good part of the message that was sent them so we string them with enmity and hatred where is enmity and hatred is coming from if the Christians ever have it it's coming from Allah we we string them Allah is the source of violence and Allah is the source of hate so even a Muslim accuse you that you have hate the Quran says it is Allah he is the hate vendor and he is the one who force us into hate so let us make it simple when a Christian and actually here you will notice says between one to each other so when a Christian he hate his brother in Christianity that is the plan of Allah so when you hear a priest dividing the Christians to make them fight between Catholic and Protestant which is something we hear always because many Christians are naive and they are being stupid following Allah's steps not Jesus step this is the plan of Allah for he is the devil he wants you Christians to fight each other and many of you are like the Muslims you claim to be Christians but in fact you are certified donkey like them the second we type the word Catholic you will see some donkeys they go crazy the second we say the word Protestant some donkeys they go crazy both of you are the same if you act like as we see in the screen this is the plan of Allah you are certified donkey of Allah you have nothing to do with Jesus Islam is the one who supply you as a Christian with hate to your brother any Christ so if you cannot follow Jesus by loving each other obviously you are following the plan of Allah and you are a certified donkey of Allah did I make it clear We as a Christians, we should not believe in something called Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. We should believe in the Messiah, for we belong to him, not to a bishop, not to a priest. All those names involve politics and kings, and we have nothing to do with it. Kings fighting over their power and their authority, and they drag you into such a garbage. A true Christian he follow Christ he don't follow a bishop if I am a bishop and I teach you to be divided obviously I'm serving the devil of Islam do you see it this is the plan of Allah it's in the front of your eyes the second I start dividing the Christians I'm doing Allah plan the second I unite the Christians I'm following Jesus for he said be one be one there's only one church for Christ. That is the church of Christ. No other names. He is the head of our church. No priest, no bishop, no one. The message of unity is the message of Jesus. The message of division is the message of the devil.
So take a note. You call but no ringing. Why well, you are calling me? What do you want to say? He is not GGGG, but he is GGGG. Okay, let's say GGGG. Just for fun. I mean, who cares? Yeah, I will look. I look at your IP. Get lost. Anyway. Uh, unity always, unity of the Christian heard the devil. The first question you ask yourself always, if we are divided, is that what Jesus want? You know the answer in your heart. But there is people who do business, and if I open a store, if 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 a church became a store like Muhammad the scam, Muhammad here is running a scam, and the scam is based how many followers I have, so they, how how much money I will receive. So they start saying to you, "Oh, in my church you go to heaven; in that church you go to hell." Both of them, the one who do that practice, they are going to go to hell. Those priests, for they are serving the devil. Heaven and hell is in the hand of God, not in the hand of a priest. And the way to go to heaven is to believe in Jesus, not to believe in a church name. Whoever believe in me and die, he will live. That's what Jesus said. You might be not a scholar in the Bible. You might be a very simple farmer. Maybe you do not even know how to read, how to write. You don't even have a full understanding of the Bible. Maybe you cannot even give interpretation for a verse in the Bible, but you believe that Jesus is your Savior, you are saved. As simple as that. The person who was next to Jesus in the cross, he did not take Bible class. He was not a scholar. He was not an apostle. He was a criminal on the cross. He accepted Jesus, and Jesus said to him, Today you will be with me in heaven. Is that correct? So, my friend, fight those who divide us, for they are serving the devil which is Allah. Christ is the most beautiful thing can happen to you in your life because the second you believe in him, not in the priest, it will be changed. If you follow a priest, a priest will make you hate other, others because most of them, they are corrupt and they are false people. They have fancy cars, fancy houses, fancy life, and you're the poor. You have to make a donation for them to make them have a better life. Go and see the apostle of Jesus, how they used to live and how much money they own. Jesus, your Lord himself, he did not even own a donkey. If they are really people who want to serve and they claim to be priests, you see, when you say you are priests, it means you are a person designated your life to God. So if you do so, why you have a fancy car, fancy house, fancy life? Why your life is better than your followers? Or let us say those who come to your church. Why the KGV? Of the Bible CV. This is a translation. Who cares what the KGV? <laughs> There's many translations. You see, we don't care about translation. 
what we care about how how close to the original it is otherwise it's translation what KGV go you if you speak the Aramaic and you can do better translation go and make one the more accurate the more we read it Yeah, the one who reject you, my friend, is not reject you, which means that will continue to everybody, everybody he call himself bishop. The one who reject you, which means reject your message, not you as a person. You are not God who people follow you. When you reject, do you know, like, did you, did you meet Paul? No. So how I can reject Paul? I reject the teaching of Paul or I accept what he said, correct? So when Jesus speak about rejection, speaking about their teaching, about him, it's not about rejecting them as individuals. They are not the important. Even Jesus, when he went to the house of that woman, and he said to her, Martha, Martha, you are busy with many things, but the important is one. So many of you are important of names, but you forgot that the important is one. Are we following? No, no, no. I will not take call for now. I have a topic to finish. So anyway. A, f a person who present uh, himself as a teacher for Christ. As a priest. He should be humble. He should not be rich. He should not be... Uh, driving fancy cars, we should not live in in a house have um, you know uh, uh, like a million. You know, I saw a scumbag. He is uh, asking the Christian, the naive Christians, to donate for him so he can buy an airplane. That is Muhammad. That is not a priest. That is Muhammad, and there is many of them. They are exactly as Jesus said. Listen to them, but don't do what they do. They speak good. They do bad. Now we go back to our topic. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? I don't want to see anything in the text about the word Catholic or Protestant. We are finished with the topic. So please respect our wish. I want people to be united and to be Christians Christians mean follower of Christ not a Protestant or Catholic so anyone in the text it looked like he is going to divide people I will block you we don't allow the devil here any Muslim Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Now, for sure, we are speaking about the knowledge of Muhammad. Muhammad, he have a knowledge that uh, 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 Omar, he deserved to be a prophet of God, and nobody can tell us where Muhammad, he got this knowledge. But Muhammad, he go with his madness beyond that. Muhammad always he try to involve his God in everything. Even in a fight with his wives. Even if he gave an advice for somebody he have a stomach pain, he claimed that Allah told him what is the medicine. And then we find Muhammad saying this.
the prophet in his element in which he died used to say oh Aisha I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar and at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off from that poison Is that based on knowledge or based on ignorance? And a Muslim can answer. Was Muhammad here speaking and he is aware of what he is saying? Or we we can say Muhammad was a stupid when he said that. Any Muslim? Because if Muhammad he is inspired by God and his God he protect Muhammad and then the Quran says if Muhammad is in like uh, making inventing Quran Allah will cut his orta and then Muhammad he died exactly in the same way he claimed that if Muhammad he have fake knowledge of Allah or God God or Allah the, the name of the God of the Muslims Abdul is going to cut his artery how the death of Muhammad happened to be exactly as Muhammad predict to happen if he is a liar Any Muslim? And if the messenger, which means Muhammad, were to invent any saying in our name, any saying, anything, what Allah will do? We should certainly cut off the artery of his heart. And then the hadith confirm that this is exactly how Muhammad he died. So when the Muslim they say that the Prophet he prophesy, and if this is will make Muhammad a prophet, I have I have to agree then. But I believe what happened here, Muhammad he said that if I am lying, God will cut my artery, and that what our God he made him suffer from. It's not his fake God. He said, if I am lying, God will do this to me, which means the examination of the prophethood of Muhammad is by his death. Who is the one setting the rules of knowing if Muhammad is a false prophet or not? Allah, supposedly. How? If he do invent words in our names, we are going to cut his artery. And then the hadith confirm exactly the same story. This is how your prophet die and say to the prophethood goodbye. Any Muslim? Any ustaz here? Anyone here is ustaz in archery? Do we have any ustaz from Nigeria? And look here, it says that he used to say, it's not only once, twice, this guy is suffering from it and he feel it every day. At this time when he was going through his death, he said, he used to say he this is not a statement he said it once because like in five minutes he felt the pain which means this is consistent pain in the same location in the same way 
until he die because you know I might feel a pain in my heart side or something like for a second you know sometimes you even uh, you sneeze or you cut hard it might you feel something in your chest eh, it's not not a big deal but here this is the element of death so death is confirmed after this it's not he was sick same time he used to say the following sentence I feel the pain caused by the food I eat at Khaybar and at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off do we have any Muslim Any beautiful Muslim or handsome Muslim? The chapter we are reading from is a chapter 69, verse number. You can read it from verse number uh, 44 if you wish. This is a shocking knowledge of Muhammad that he knew that he is a fake prophet and he predicted his death. To be punished by the true God, not by Allah. And this is what happened. Muhammad, when he said that, he never thought that the true God is going to do that to him. He knew his God is fake. He knew he's a false prophet. But yet he says, if Muhammad is a fabricating, I would do this to him. Claiming that his God is the one who said that. Anyone will speak about domination of Christianity in the chat. We will block you period and you will never be able to type again in our chat So be careful We speak about a topic for a reason and we finish it Have you ever been disturbed Muhammad in a dream? No You cannot do that because Muhammad uh he is protected by Allah, as you see. So how you can disturb Muhammad in his dream? Now, secondly, Muhammad don't dream when he's asleep. Muhammad, he dream when he is awake. And we can prove that from the hadith. The hadith says that the prophet, he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. So you might dream that you are having sex, like everybody, maybe happened. But... For Muhammad, he don't dream when he is asleep. He dream when he is awake. He imagines, sorry, not a dream. So look what the hadith said. The prophet continued for such and such period of time, imagining that he had bang, bang, boom, boom with his wives, but in fact, he did not, as you see. Now, According to science, this is very normal for somebody is suffering from brain chemical balance. So he is suffering from something causing bad balance for his brain. All right. Muhammad died natural death a guy saying to me in skype no, i'm showing it to you i'm not making things up so don't tell me where you get this invention from if this is an invention that's mean your prophet is the one who did create it and as you see this is sahir bukhari What, you want to tell me Sahir Bukhari is shish kebab now? What do you say, Abdul? The hadith I quoted is weak. Thank you, Brother Gigi. 
the hadith I quoted is weak. Hmm. No, it's not. This is Sahir Bukhari, GG. Do we have any Muslim? The weak is your prophet, the weak is your God, Islam is weak. Everything in this cult is weak. The hadith contradict the Quran? My friend, the hadith no confirm the Quran. Marhaba كيف خالك خالك the the hadith is weak hmm. hello my name is Ola Tunde hmm. do you want to talk or not I don't know speak are you a kadab or not let's talk let's talk it's talking time now. Hmm. No more jiggy jiggy. No more jiggy jiggy. No. Hey, why not? Why there's no jiggy jiggy? No jiggy jiggy. No jiggy jiggy time. Jiggy jiggy is over now. Let's talk. Let's talk. Serious why, why talk now. No jiggy jiggy. What happened? Where, are you, where is your dad? Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about well, let your me ask you, Let me ask you. Like, are you are you a person who your family dump you in the street after having sex? No, let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's why, talk about why, your topic. Why you always, you know, call just to do stupid things? I mean, aren't you a man or what? 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 What is? I only, I only call. I only did, call. Did you go? Twice. Did you go to a doctor? Wallah, wallah. Did, did you see wallah, a doctor? I did you see a doctor before? Wallahi, I only called you twice. Hmm. Hmm. Wallahi, I don't know. Listen, go back and listen. Uh huh. It's not. It's not the same voice. Uh, okay. And and what you wanna do is what you wanna say. Not the same voice. Same fart. Go ahead. Yes. Hmm. I want to say that uh, if, if if the hadith contradicts the Quran, hmm. then we don't take it seriously. Okay, and where is the hadith contradict the Quran? Well, you, what does it? What does the Quran say that um, uh, he cut his aorta? It says if he is lying, he will cut his aorta. Well, in the Quran, it says in the hadith. No, it says in the Quran. My name is Ola Tunde. Change the software, my friend. Your software is not good. GG, GG. Do we have any brave Muslim? Or only stupid Muslim kids? Anyone? Anyone? Any two? Anyway, you know, for us, when people watch those videos and they will see the disability of the Muslims and how foolish they are, this is always for our benefit because the whole point of our videos is to show people that Muslims are they have big mouth but they have nothing to say they scream they shout but the second you ask a serious question they have no idea what to say as simple as that and then they start playing like kids they use a voice changer you know etc you know stupid trashy Anyone? Who is Abdul would like to call us? A proud Abdul.
So we were talking about, you know, the Prophet Muhammad. There's a guy, he said that he saw Prophet Muhammad come to, come into him in the dream. I, hold on. I remember something. Do you, know, do you know this guy who called himself convert to Islam before? Anyone remember him? And then he changed his name to uh, don't convert to Islam. Who remember? Anyone remember him? Okay. This guy, he made a video a long time ago. And he said, That his cousin she was in South Africa and when she was in her room alone a white person appeared to her and this is for sure an angel because there's no white people in South Africa at that time <laughs> and this is when he was a Muslim this is when he was a Muslim, which is sound like if you convert to Islam, you lose your mind and you start saying stupid things. You know what I mean? I cannot really compare between him today and him as a Muslim. When he was a Muslim, he was making poopoo big deal. I mean, his his cousin, she saw a white man appear to her in the dream. And for sure, I'm just quoting him, for sure this is an angel because there's at that time there's no white people in South Africa. At that time, if you hear this guy speaking about at that time, you think he's talking about like 2,000 years ago. Right now he is now, not even maybe 30 something. At that time, there was no people in South Africa, they are white. And because he's an angel, he must be white. This is the mentality of Islam. So the second you 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 see yourself as a Muslim, you start uh, hallucinating and seeing image like Muhammad. He imagined things happening, but in fact, it's not happening. They create stories, they fabricate the stories, and they repeat the story, they repeat the lie until they believe it. Yeah, I know he's a Christian now, but I'm saying the second you convert to Islam, it's like you're, you're, you are you have a brain conversion. Your, your brain go to the sleeping mood. And then the stupidity mood will, will, will be in the standby, taking over. And not only that, he said, and there is a miracle that's happened to me. As, 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 as an example, uh, 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 when I go to the, 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 the supermarket, and uh, uh, as an example, I, I, I go to the cashier machine, and uh, or, or like I, I, put, I put my hand in, in, my, in my wallet, and I, for, I forgot my wallet, and uh, 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 and then, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, as an example, uh, uh, the bill is $7.11. And then I put my hand in my pocket, and I I, I find exactly the the the, 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 the same amount as as, as 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 in the in the in the in the, in the bill. Seven dollars and eleven cents. By the way, this has happened to him all the time. It happened to me all the time. I wish this happened to me all the time. That would be fun. Imagine you go to the gas station. You put twenty dollars in your car. I will not. I will never bring my wallet with me if this is the case. And then you put your hand. No, no. I forgot. He said. And then he said, Allah, Allah, Allah. And then he put his hand in the pocket, and he found exactly the same amount which he needed for to pay the bill. Exactly. Allah, Allah, try it, guys. Try it when you go tomorrow to do shopping, especially if you are going with your wife and she wanna buy some expensive clothes for herself. Don't take your wallet. Say Allah, 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 and you will find the ex and the funny. 
there's millions of Muslims are dying in Africa from poor from hunger in Somalia 25,000 child they die every every month and this was a few years ago I don't know about now and they are saying Allah Allah every day and Allah is not putting in their pocket seven dollars and even cents but he will put it in the pocket of an American boy Any Abdul? Anyone? Oh, guys, guys, hold on. I just put my hand in my pocket, and guess what? I found seconds dollars not seven dollars and one cent two cent three cent four cent five cent six seven seven eight eight cent nine cent eleven cents twelve cent thirteen cents thirteen cents hey guys you know come back tomorrow I'm, I'm counting the cents a lot of cents uh 20 cents 25 cents one thousand cents one thousand one cents one thousand twelve cents one thousand cents, Samson. Hey Allah, can't you send us dollar? I mean, why you have to send me all those cents? Yes, we ask for money, but not cents. I'm going to spend my day to count ten dollars. We ask you for dollars, man. Why you send us cents? And where you get this all this change from? Do you do you think Allah He own all the the, the grocery stores in, in Los Angeles? Hmm. Abdul? No Abdul? All right, look like we will not stay long today, but we wanted to share with you that Islam is nothing but a stupid ideology. Can't stand any serious question. And Muslims they have nothing to say. And Muhammad have no knowledge except what is getting him busted. Especially like, you know, you watch our previous videos about Muhammad saying stupid things like the women, if she have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Which is amazing, by the way. I was thinking to convert to Islam because of this story. I never thought that the Prophet can predict such a thing. It's amazing. So beautiful. Proving scientifically to be accurate like the guy who called me yesterday from nigeria he said this is true this is correct there's nothing wrong with this i believe in it no they believe in it all right i mean obviously this is this is the this is the shocking knowledge of the prophet muhammad how muhammad he knew this if he is not a prophet you tell me be honest with me. Uh, Any Abdul? No, I don't think Muhammad died because of AIDS, my friend. This is not true. Don't fabricate stories about the Prophet. Respect him. But there is evidence that the Prophet, he was suffering from STD. Not AIDS. We don't want to... Come on, respect yourself, please. If you see Muhammad speaking about... Or the wives of Muhammad. They report for us things which is obviously clearly clear proof that the wives of Muhammad they are suffering from some kind of STD. Do you see this? What is the yellowest discharge? Any Muslim can tell me what is the especially if you are a Muslim female. 
what is the yellowest charge the wives of Muhammad they have anyone this is called the yeast infection really okay but I believe that this is different kind of uh, yeast this is a holy yeast no this is not urine this is not urine you see your urine is this is not urine this is about the blood mixed with yellowish stuff this is not urine and as long Muhammad is sleeping with those women so he have it too whatever they have he have right unless Muhammad was not using his uh, private part he was using something else okay okay all of you are doctors I am the only let me tell you by the way don't try to tell me what is the infection here I am an Arab and we are the we are the founder of medicine knowledge go and see what they say the Muslims you know by the way all the scientists the Muslims are proud about today they were called atheists in their time <laughs> and many of them they get killed by the Abdul because they are kuffar and today they are so proud about them but they were chasing them like dogs. They want to kill them. And not only that, Islamic history is full of fabrication. I remember when I was a uh, you know very young in the school, the teacher you know we have we have a section like for Arab scientists in the history book. Arab scientist. This this is the section, which means everybody in this section is an Arab and he is scientist. So the teacher he wrote in the in the in the board he said Al Khawarizmi, and I was looking at this name. I mean, how, what the word? What what does Al Khawarizmi mean? This is kind of, doesn't mean anything in Arabic. So I asked him. You know, usually, uh, usually such a names they come from a name of a location. So I said to him, Sir, what what Al Khawarizmi mean? He said that's mean he is from Khawarizm. I said, Where is Khawarizm? He said it's in Persia. <laughs> so I said, How he is from Persia, but he is an Arab. He said, uh, "Just sit down. Sit down. S uh, no, don't ask me. Sit down. S sit down." The guy is Persian, and they made him Arab to me to be proud about the Arab scientist. His name is Al Khawarizmi. You donkey. Where he is from? From Khawarizm. Where is Khawarizm in Persia? So why you call him Arab? So if you are born born in uh, in, in uh, uh, let us say uh, 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 New Jersey, they will call you in Arabic a New Jerseyan. Huh? So now we let us talk about this Arab scientist. His name New Jerseyan, sir. Where is New Jersey? It's in America. So how is an Arab? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Algebra two. They say to you, Algebra two is made by Jabir. This is what the name is coming from, Algebra 2, supposedly. The fact this guy is not an Arab and he is not a Muslim, he is from the Sabian. Do you see those uh, Sabian and Yazidi in Iraq? Those are the one, he is from them. Anyone who became famous or known, they made him an Arab. You like it, you don't like it? Here we go. Al Qazafi, he was making a speech on TV. He said, I don't know, everything that Western they have today is coming from us. As an example, the word Shakespeare is not about a British person. He is Arab and his name is Shakespeare. Shakespeare became Shakespeare. May Allah shake you. Shakespeare. His real name is Shakespeare. Sheikh Isper. 
Al Qazafi continue saying, even the word democracy, they took it from us. The original of the word is democracy. Democracy, which means to bring the chairs. See, here we go. Even democracy is taken from the Arab. We are the one who made the democracy. And the funny Al Qazafi is not an Arab. The stupid idiot, he is proud about the Arab, but he is not an Arab himself. Democracy. We have to, uh, to be honest here. We are the one first one who taught how to insert a bomb in your anus. So, an Arabian brother from my country, brother, he decided to insert something in his anus to kill the Saudi prince. So he put a bomb in his anus. May Allah protect his anus because this is doing. He's doing jihad using his anus. The security they check his body. They found nothing. But nobody imagined that the bomb will be in his anus. And then this guy, we discover that this guy, the, the, the Al-Qaeda, they practice fatwa that in order to put a bomb in your anus, it's okay to have sex with the man so he can make your hole bigger. So when you insert it, will not be too much hard to put it there. So they allowed having sex with men. So in order to make it easier to put it in the anus. And this is why you see that in security check they check you with with the with the security camera because a Muslim terrorist he might put something in his anus. You have a holy anus. And yeah, actually, almost he killed the prince, the Saudi prince. He was burned badly by the bomb. He was he did not die. He's still alive until now, but he is suffering since then from from that attack. The guy who have the bomb in his anus, his body became two pieces. One anus in the right and the other anus in the left. Hmm. Somebody is getting sick in his stomach. Guys, bring, uh, call the security. Maybe he have something there. Be careful. <laughs> Don't explode here, please. And every day you see the Muslim terrorist attacking uh, hotels like yesterday in Nairobi. They killed, I think, maybe 30 people the day before. In, you know, I mean, every day, every day in, in Somalia, uh, non-stop. Because Islam cannot survive without intimidation and violence. Violence is the way to make you subdued, to scare you. How we can scare you? We make you, you know, why want, why want to scare you? To make you convert to Islam. Or to, to make you admit to our terms and conditions anyway guys I think we have enough for today look like today we don't have any Abdul did we have a good time right yeah we you know you Christians in Nigeria and Africa stay strong don't let them intimidate you and defend yourself too don't be a coward you know, don't do violence, but you have the right to defend yourself. Don't be violence. Don't do. Don't seek revenge. Don't kill. Don't hate. But defend yourself, my friend. You have the right to defend your house, your family, your city, and you are not allowed to be a coward. Cowards have no right to have a land, to have a home, to have the existence. Because if you are a coward, when I say you don't have a right, it means they will not give you the right to exist because they are not people of mercy those terrorists so if you don't defend yourself they will take over you which means you have no choice except to defend yourself it's not a choice to say I'm going not to do so because if you don't they will come to you and they will rape your wife they will take your daughter as a slave they will kidnap them they will take your money and they will slaughter you anyway so if it's about dying as a hero it's better to die as a hero not to die as a, as a, as a goat defend your house defend your family to the last moment in your life a person, a man who don't defend his country, his life, his house, he have no honor and nobody respect him. Not even your wife will respect you. 
imagine somebody attacking your house and you go hide under the bed who are you then even the criminals who they are fighting you they will not respect you for subduing yourself to them like a goat don't do that people remembered for reasons either for they are brave or useful or intelligent or decent or 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 but don't be a person who will be remembered to be a coward that is a shame and you can't be a Christian and you are a coward too this is totally against Christianity thank you guys for being here I hope today we have a good information we share together please feel free to download my videos and share them with your friends and enter we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is false Thank you very much and take care. Bye-bye.